It's an NHS first in a hospital of this size. This robot is assisting surgeons to replace hips and knees and they hope cut down waiting times. Patients have had to wait far too long for their joint replacements. We used to be offering 18-week waits, so you'd be referred from your GP, you'd come in and, and have your surgery usually within 18 weeks. Covid, unfortunately, has given us a backlog of one to two years. Jess Sansara has arthritis and is here for a full knee replacement. A 3D plan was made of his leg before surgery. The robot arm guides the doctor to remove the bone. The margin for error is tiny here. The robot simply won't allow cuts beyond half a millimetre out of line. This has been quite an extraordinary procedure to witness and the team here hope that using robotics in this way on the NHS will mean better outcomes for individual patients like this one but also help relieve some of the pressures the service is seeing as a whole. At a time when the NHS is under strain and scrutiny about staff wages, the robot arm is a significant investment at £1.8 million. Normally this is the domain of the private sector. The evidence to support its use in terms of early benefits, in terms of soft tissue damage reduction and thereby pain, will probably translate into reduced length of stay. The quicker we can get our patients out, the sooner we can get the ones that have been waiting longer in. After two hours, surgery is done. If he passes all of our physio assessments, we'll have him home tomorrow afternoon. That's incredible, really, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, it is, but I think that's, that's what this technology is going to give us, um, help reduce those length of stays, help get us better patient outcomes. Funding for this robot has come from a special innovation grant. It's been hard fought for, but is pioneering for patient care. Katrin Rabatotsi, Sky News, Warsaw.